Hey, thanks very much, Toby and Layla, for having me on the call tonight. I am excited to be here. I'm so glad to be part of this movement, guys. I'm still buzzing from last night's training call. And by the way, our, our wonderful Australian couple is now officially part of the Rockstar team, so I want to welcome them. Welcome to the team, Sarah and Ismail. It's going to be awesome. Your excitement is absolutely contagious. So, uh, guys, uh, just another proof that, uh, you know, what we're teaching, what we're asking you guys to go out there and do works. I mean, these are more people from the Facebook family uh, coming into our family now. And it just validates everything that we're trying to uh, teach you guys to go out there and do because it does work. Okay? So, uh, once again, welcome to the family, Sarah, Ismail. It's going to be an awesome, awesome ride uh, this 2011. Uh, anyway, guys, so um, uh, let's get right to the nitty-gritty here because I want to talk a, a little bit about branding and, uh, and how this pertains to identifying your unique selling point, right? We talked about yesterday uh, branding being really this, this process of manufacturing perception. And essentially, the two are synonymous, guys. You know, branding, perception, that's the entire purpose of the, the, the exercise is to make you think or believe that a certain product or service is the only one that's going to fulfill your needs. It's the only one that's going to solve your product, uh, your problem. That's why you choose a Nike shoe over a Reebok. That's why you choose, you know, Sony over, say, Vizio, because you believe that the best colors, the best, you know, brightness ratio or contrast ratio uh, is found on Sony televisions, right? So there's a reason that we sit down in these huge conference rooms and advertise and then learn everything we can about you because when we can learn everything about you, then we know how to pull your emotional strings, right? Then we know how to manipulate you a little bit and influence you. And it sounds a little bit sleazy, guys, but that's basically what it is. I want to read something to you very quickly here. Let me see if I can find it here on my iPad because I want to read you the actual technical uh, definition of branding, okay? And branding, guys, the best uh, definition that I found was a kind or a variety of something distinguished by some distinctive characteristic. All right, and this is really critical to understand, guys, because what it means is that the process of branding really is nothing more than figuring out what makes you a little bit different than someone else, okay, at a personal level. In other words, what are your distinctive character characteristics that are going to allow you to distinguish yourself from the crowd? And this is really critical because guess what, guys? The easiest way to manufacture value is to just go out there and learn a bunch of stuff uh, regarding how to solve someone's problems. So let's say in network marketing, for instance, we know what our problems are. Okay, 97% of people have no clue what to do. And I always like to break it down into like five key pillars, right? Um, people don't know how to brand themselves. Big one, right? People don't know how to market. Big one. People don't know how, how to use those two to generate leads. And then when they do generate leads, they don't know how to monetize the leads. So what's the point, right? <laughs> and of course, there's the whole mindset issue, which really should be the first thing. But nonetheless, it's part of the five key pillars. People don't have the right business mindset. They don't understand that it's not a hobby. If you treat your business like a hobby, then it's going to pay you like a hobby, that you have to work hard, that it's not going to be an overnight thing. But if you're consistent and you are dedicated, you are going to succeed and you are going to see massive results in the end. So those are the five critical things that I like to point out um, will be the main hurdles that network marketers will face in their career. So we already know how we can create value for ourselves because if we go out there and learn how to brand and learn how to market and learn how to process a lead and put them in a funnel that converts them, that builds a relationship, that eventually monetizes them, then we've solved pretty much the major hurdles that every distributor is going to face, right? So here's the problem, guys. That's really good. But now you have to go through one more step of figuring out why is your generic information more valuable than the same exact generic information I'm going to get from somebody else. Well, that's where branding comes in. Because branding is what makes you stick out from the crowd, remember? It's what makes you individual. So Toby and Layla are social media experts. Social media experts, that's pretty generic. But see, when we talk about Toby and Layla, we know them as the rock stars. When people hear the rock stars, they know it's our team. That's the process of branding. And now we can create perception because of the enormous success we're having. We can create the perception that people who want to get going and start getting results and making money online should join a rock star team because we've got it going on. All right, so that's all the result of branding. So how do you do this on an at an individual level? I'm going to give you a very simple process that I use to create my brand. And if you follow along with me, we'll make some resources available for you guys on PDF. But this is how I went about it. 
The first thing I did, believe it or not, was I took a personality test. Why? Well, because this is about you, right? It's about your brand. So you, you really have to ask yourself some hard questions, look in the mirror and find out who you really are as a person. And a personality test actually allows me to really get a clear look objectively as to who I am, what my strengths are, and what my core weaknesses are. So when I took this test, uh, it's called the C. Jung or Brig Myers personality test, and we'll give you some free resources where you guys can go and take the test for free. It's actually pretty fun, guys. Uh, you're gonna find some interesting things about you. For instance, I happen to be a type three personality, and let me just read you a couple of key things that it says about type threes. Type threes are self-assured, attractive, and charming. Yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, they're also ambitious, competent, energetic, and they can be highly driven for advancement. And that's pretty accurate, guys. That's me. I also found out that everyone has basic fears and desires, right? Okay. My basic fear as a type 3 is I have a fear of being worthless. I don't like to be broke. I just don't. I've always made good money in my life, <laughs> so I don't like to be broke, but I also want to, ma I, I want to matter. I want to be someone valuable. Hence, one of my basic desires is uh, to feel valuable and worthwhile. And one of my key motivators is to be affirmed, to be distinguished, okay, from others, and to have attention, to be admired, and to impress others. And it sounds a little vain, I'm not really vain, but I do want to, I do want to stand out from the crowd. I love being on stage, I love being able to get on these phone calls and help you guys out. So that's an important part of who I am as a person, right? As you keep going through this process, guys, you're going to come up with some very basic uh, ideologies about who you are as a person. Uh, type threes are achievers. Okay, here's a nice little quote that basically sums it all up. Uh, healthy threes know that they are worth the effort it takes to be the very best they can be. Their success at doing so inspires others to invest in their own self-development. And that's what I strive for. That's what gets me up in the morning to help other people. I, when I'm passionate about something, I'm going to tell you. So you keep going through this process, guys, of figuring out what you are about. This is all through the personality test. And then we're going to show you, I can show you how to go through a process of identifying what your core values are. And your core values, guys, are very simple. This is where the whole idea of a brand promise comes into play. Okay? The brand promise is basically your credo where you say, this is what I stand for, this is what my business stands for, and here's what you get when you interact with me. Okay? That's the whole idea behind the brand promise. And from that point forward, when you identify what that is, Everything you do in your marketing has to sustain that idea. So my core values, guys, are this. I wrote a bunch of them down, but 10 stuck out. Success, happiness, integrity, freedom, health and fitness, confidence, financial security, family, growth, empowerment, and risk-taking. So what I did at this point was I started writing personal statements about those particular key uh, critical uh, core values and I started doing things like you know success well I choose to make every day its own success when it comes to money well I choose to create and attract all the wealth I desire these are statements okay uh, when it comes to empowerment I choose to be empowered and unbound from the conventional in other words I'm thinking outside the box there is no box when it comes to risk taking that's a huge part of my personality right I choose to never fear risk for there is never reward without it and you keep going through this process of writing these statements, eventually as you do this, you'll come up with a global mission statement. And mine is simply this. Success is a mindset. My mission is to help others leverage the power of self-discovery, personal branding, and internet marketing to manifest wealth and prosperity in their lives. Through dedication, passion, and integrity, I will develop leaders and achievers. I will empower them with the knowledge, tools, and resources necessary to become successful, balanced individuals who enjoy all the benefits of freedom, happiness, and unbound life possibilities. Guys, notice that all those core values that I talked about before, you know, success, happiness, freedom, family, etc., they're all implemented into this mission statement. So you know what I just did? When someone comes to my website and they read that, I just connected with a specific group of people that share the exact same core values. I've now connected with my target market in a very intimate way. Those people are very likely to want to do business with me or at least follow what I'm doing. So based on that, my website's tagline is very simple. Manifest wealth, balance, and prosperity through the power of internet marketing and you. And now I've identified what I bring to the table that's unique and awesome, that connects with people who share those same core values. And now you make a very strong bond and connection with people who are very apt to work with you. And that is it, guys. Once you get to that point, you simply write your story of how you came from where you came from and where you are right now. It validates everything you say 
and you make a connection and now people have a reason to say, I want to work with you. Okay, that's a very uh, condensed version of this exercise, guys. And if you want, we'll make we'll make like a PDF cheat sheet or something to kind of walk you through the process and give you all the resources. But that's how you come up with a unique selling proposition, defining who you are as a person and then deciding how you want to connect with people. When your core values are in front of you and you, are, you have identified them, that's what you leverage to connect with other people. And then you can become the social media maverick instead of the social media uh, you know, expert. You can be the internet marketing maven or something that encompasses who you are as a person and encompasses what your core values are. All right, guys? So um, that is the basic gist of it. I hope it makes some sense. It's a little bit more of an expanded process when you really break it down. Again, if you want some more information, you know how to get in touch with me on Facebook or email, okay? Thanks very much, guys, and I'm gonna pass it back to Toby and Layla now. Take care.